I want you to think back to May 2020. The property market was just about to reopen and the Bank of England were predicting a house price crash of up to 16%. But now look where we are, a 10% increase in that time. But is now a good time to buy a property? Is 2021, what's left of it, a good time? In this video, we're gonna go over it. Hi there, Lee Everett from Lee Everett Property Advice and on this channel I'm passionate about helping as many first time buyers buy their first home. Over the last 18 years I've dealt with thousands of property transactions so if you're after the best news and tips on how to buy your first home, you're in the right place. So let's look at why house prices went up. One of those reasons is an absolute no brainer. During lockdown, people were cooped up in their small properties or flats with little to no outside space. And when you're in a property constantly for weeks upon weeks, you really feel the walls start to close in. So there's a lot of pent up demand from people who want to have a bigger property, a different change of area or more outside space. So many people wanted a change of scenery or more space to work from home. And I wouldn't advise this one in this current state at the moment. Ooh. And with a search for more space inside and outside because people are working from home more, the demand for people looking to buy a new, first or bigger property was only going to go up. And because a lot of people, a lot of first time buyers weren't able to go out and spend money on holidays, eating out, all those sort of social aspects of our life that we all love to do when we can, when we weren't able to do that, a lot of you were able to save up a bigger, bigger deposit. And what we're seeing now more recently is lower interest rates. The banks are fighting for new business and the way to draw you in is by having very, very low mortgage repayment interest rates. And you put all those three things together, you've created the perfect storm, the perfect bubble of people wanting to move, being able to move, and the actual ability, the cheapness of being able to borrow money is very, very low. But you may be thinking, Lee, why haven't you mentioned the stamp duty holiday? If you're a regular viewer on this channel, you'll know that I believe that the stamp duty holiday was not needed. In my area in Essex, the property market was absolutely booming before the stamp duty holiday. That pent up uh, demand, the ability for people to have saved bigger deposits was enough to stimulate the market but the government thought in all their wisdom let's offer people a discount for selling their home but what that actually done is increase uh, prices so people may have saved up to fifteen thousand pounds but i bet if you do the maths a lot of people actually paid more than fifteen thousand pounds in house price increase than what they saved in stamp duty but is 2021 or what's left of it a good time to buy a property still no doubt that property prices are starting to show that they are not going up as quickly as they have been over the last 12 months. But will the market actually drop? And in truth, nobody actually knows. But what you can generally guarantee is that house prices always go up in the long term. And I think if you're looking to take advantage of any dip that happens in the market, you're going to have to hope for a market crash or a market dip of over 10% just to buy at the same price you could have bought in 2020, which I think is very, very unlikely. We touched on mortgage rates a little earlier in the video, and at the moment, mortgage rates are incredibly, incredibly low. But if inflation starts to keep going up as it has been the last few months, then the Bank of England will start to increase the base rate. And when the Bank of England does that, lenders follow so so borrowing money when the base rate the bank of england base rate increases will affect how much you pay in interest to your mortgage lender and if those rates go up so do your mortgage payments in summary to this video if you're planning to buy a home and stay in it for the next five years or more then i think now is a good time to buy if you want to buy and you're able to do so if you're buying a home then while interest rates are as cheap as they're going to be ever now would be a great time to buy your home thanks for watching guys please hit the subscribe button and the like and i'll see you on the next one take care